Hey guys, this is Matthew from Punter Statement. This is Hunger Games, I'm starving, and I'm doing a book review. That's the Punter Statement. Aha, uh -huh, for any of all you guys who thought I was wearing a top hat, I'm actually wearing a fedora. Don't judge me. A known quote from the book, For there to be betrayal, there has to be trust in the first place. That's the second quote of the way. Basically, it shows that the story... There's a lot of betrayal, and no trust. You gotta trust people, man. Don't trust people. It's not gonna end well. You gotta trust. And so basically, Katniss Everdeen, the main character, is really good with the bow, and is on fire. Which is something that happened in the story. She's also, she is known as the girl that's on fire. Okay. So the story follows Katniss Everdeen, the main character, and as well as side characters such as Peta, Gail, her little sister Prim, and so on. As well as Hey Mitch. Which I love the name Hey Mitch. That's his full name, not just like saying hi. But if you want to say Hey Hey Mitch, that's actually saying hi Mitch. Hi Hey Mitch. What? Hey Mitch. That's his full name. So you have to say Hey Hey Mitch. Okay. So basically, let me actually bring the book over here because I forgot about that part. Here's the book. I'm basically going to cut out that last part because my recording stopped. Stopped. Okay, so basically her name was in there once. In a group where um, all, I won't put their name in based on how lucky they are, based on their age, job, income. And so Prim was able to only have her name in there once. Yes, she got picked. So Katniss Everdeen volunteered. As well as Peta was also picked for the boy's side. And so, they were sent to the Hunger Games. The place where every... The place where the district send two of their children, one male, one female, to go die. And so basically, you have one winner in the end. In case it was one. I'm not going to spoil anything. Promise. Rue died. No, she didn't. I'm just making that up. But basically, it's a, it's a huge story. Like, Katniss Everdeen is a great character. It's a huge, like, past the Hunger Games, after, like, the Hunger Games happened. It gets into even more with the war. And I'm not trying to spoil it too much, but it's really all I can talk about. <laughs> like, the war, like, happened. But kind of everything, like, the story's great. Like, right, the whole entire plot of the Hunger Games. If you enjoy kind of more of, like, um, it's not kid friendly as much as I would say. Although, I have enjoyed this and a lot of other people enjoyed it at a young age. If you don't want your kids to feel more like battle and killing, then don't let them read this. Or if you're a child yourself, take precaution. I got that. So as all, I forgot to have the book in my hand again, but I have cool stuff from um, adventure time. Okay. So basically, another important part. Uh, hold up. The book does it now. Another part is just that it's a really good story. Killing is a big part in here. It's really interesting to read. If you played any type of game, there, there's always parodies of it made online that you can play. As well as, um, like, this is, it's a really good book in general. I recommend reading the trilogy. It's totally worth it. You know, it's like $15 book. This one's like $10, it's $11. It's hardcover, though. You can probably find one way cheaper for, like, um, paper cover, paperback, I think. But you can't, you can't miss it. Get it? You can't miss it in the store. It's a really good read in general. It's just like, it's one of my favorites as well. I'm going over my favorites now in book reviews because I have nothing else to do. So, hope I get the extra credit. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me if you want me to do anything else. More book reviews? I could definitely do that. I actually need to read more books then. Dang. Well, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I would love to do other things. Because it's just fun to do these in general, it's fun to goof off. All that, you have to meet the criteria. I meet that criteria greatly. And I have to edit this video. But basically, it was a great story. I gave it eight top hats, two fedoras. One fedora is worth, two fedoras are worth one top hat. As you can see. But, so hopefully you guys know it gets a nine out of ten top hat. So hopefully you guys enjoy. It's a great book to read. I would recommend reading it. The uh, your probably your library would have it as well. Bad magic. I regret saying your library would have it because it probably won't. Found that out. Hunger Games, great read. If you haven't seen it already, read it. See the movie. Everything. 
Do you think Colin, the author, was the best? Was one of the best authors out there. I'm not gonna change. I copied it right here. Look at that skills. Can I get a zoom in? Let's see if I can get a nice zoom in. Where's the camera on this? There you go. This bird is on fire. 